everybody. It's definitely been a while since I've done a video under covering tech support scammers. And I'm definitely planning on getting back into it really soon. But tonight we're going to focus on something a little bit different. So I notice a lot more people these days are getting into the fun hobby of undercovering tech support scammers. And you commonly may use a platform, a virtual machine platform such as VirtualBox or in this case VMware. Now um, virtual in VirtualBox there are different ways that you can hide the fact that you're a virtual machine but in VMware one thing I can't stand about it is it is not the easiest thing to hide yourself as a virtual machine. Um, and what I mean by this is you, know, you can go ahead and, and name your PC wherever you want your virtual machine. You can name it wherever you wish. But deep, deep down um, inside your machine um, still is the unhidden fact that you're a virtual machine. And tech support scammers can figure this out without ever having to open up system information on your computer. That's because a lot of um, that's because a lot of different um, remote support platforms out there, such as Log Me and Rescue and such, offer this functionality built into the software, where they can click a button on their side and look at your PC hardware configuration without ever having to go into MS Info 32 on your machine. So for now, we're going to, we're going to boot up this Windows Vista virtual machine and show you exactly what I'm talking about here. Now they don't have to go into MS Info 32 to even see this, but if you open MS Info 32, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about here. But if you do some research online, you will find a way that you can easily alleviate this problem. And that's by passing through the system information, like the hardware information from your, um, your host machine. Oh, that sounded wonderful. <laughs> Alrighty then, anyways, um, let's go and do this. Look up MS Info 32 and look at the system information that it shows. This here is what tech support scammers can see without ever having to open this. And they can know before even realize it that, you know, that they realize that you're using a virtual machine and you're trying to play games with them. And in turn, a lot of times they'll turn around and play games with you. If you look back at one of my um, recent tech support scam videos where I was playing around with them, um, having them <laughs> trying to figure out how to get through one of media center, um, they knew that they were in a virtual machine because they were, they were saying things like, oh, we're having a party, you want to join us? And then the, 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 just random things like that just keep me on the phone and playing games on me because they, they already knew that I was using a virtual machine so you see anyways system manufacturer VMware incorporated system model VMware virtual platform when they see this it's obvious that um, you know that you use a virtual machine and you can you can go ahead and close this out here or disable the icon oh but that's not that's not going to do much any good when they still see this here so what we have to do is we need to go and shut down this machine. Just go and shut it down. Well, that sounds a little better. So I am planning on doing a video on Windows Vista since Vista is less than 30 days from end of support. But, um, so what you have to do is you have to navigate to the folder that your virtual machine is, that the files of your virtual machine are, are stored at. And from there, you have to go in and edit the configuration file, which I think is a .vmx file. And by default, it will it'll want to open up with VMware, but you have to change it to you know to choose Open With and you know, choose another app and then choose Notepad, which I've already done. So now I can just click Edit. So you see, we have this this um, this Notepad document. This is full of different strings. This is all configuration data for your machine. Like for example the um, MEM size 3072 for 3 gigs of RAM. So I'll go ahead and just make a new line here. And I'm going to go ahead and paste this information in right here. 
smbios.reflecthost equals true. What this does is this tells the virtual machine to instead of instead of showing you know VMware as system manufacturer and VMware virtual platform as some system model, it fetches the system manufacturer model of the host computer. So now I'm, I'm going to go ahead and save this. Make sure you save. And we'll go ahead and start this machine back up. This is, this is a relatively clean install of Windows Vista. Well, that sounded a little bit better that time. Yeah, the, the, the famous Vista orb that you see at startup. Yeah, Vista was definitely full of eye candy. More so than Windows 7. Let's go and try this again. Look up system information and see what we have this time. And you can see now, under system manufacturer, it, it, it simply shows the, the, the host data. So system manufacturer is Cube Computer Company. System model mid tower deluxe, and what's funny here is uh, from now on, when they ask me what brand of computer you have, I'm gonna say I don't know. <laughs> and and, and it's, what's funny here is just dare them to look up computer company on Google and figure out who they're dealing with here. Yeah. But anyways, um, I could change this to whatever I want. By the way, I could change it to say H Hewlett Packard Company or or Dell or whatever. Just by modifying the um, SM BIOS data of the Mid Tower Deluxe. There are utilities out there you can do that with. Um, so now when I introduce tech support scammers to this virtual machine, it's not going to be right in front of them that this is a virtual machine. It's going to show under system manufacturer, it's not going to show VMware or Oracle VM VirtualBox or you know any other virtual machine platform. It's not going to show virtual machine which is a good thing. That way they won't have any idea right off the bat that this is a virtual machine. So that way you can <laughs> you can really mess with these people. So anyways that is how you can sort of hide the fact that you're using a virtual machine when you are messing with tech support scammers under VMware. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Hey everybody, I sure hope you guys enjoyed this video from Q Computer Channel. Remember to like the video, subscribe to Q Computer Channel for more updates, and remember to tick the bell so that you actually get notified of these updates. Did you know that I am also on a second channel that's CubeCop MTDX? Over there you'll find videos of bicycling, weather, elevators, and all sorts of other neat and interesting stuff. Feel free to subscribe to that channel as well. And again, I thank you for your support. And thanks for watching this video.